After the completion of our server side, now we need to move towards our client side application. In this client app, we have to work on our next development for front end. So we will start by our home controller and uh, first of all we will remove this entire uh, HTML. Let me just write a title for a moment. Now let's move to its component and after writing the entire logic in its component we will uh, move to the HTML again. So let's start. Now I'm going to implement on init. This on init uh, interface have one ng on init function and after this function we need to write our constructor here constructor we use for default initialization and uh, dependency injection while ng on init use for data initialization now by dependency injection we will import http client in our constructor which is built in then we need base url of our application next we need to initialize a variable of customer list in which we will store the result next we need a base url variable Next, I'm going to write a function load data in which we will load the customer list from uh, server to client. Now we use get call by HTTP client for accessing our uh, customer list. Now with base URL, we will define the route we define on our controller. Then we will use filter method URL which was filter with parameters. Now in this case we don't want to use our filter parameter so remove it. So we will use other parameters for a moment. Sort column will be ID and sort order is ascending. Page number we are giving here 0 which will show our first page and page size will be 20. We must need to subscribe our observable to get response from the controller. Before saving our response we need to check either our response is failure or uh, success. As we defined status value is 1 in case of success so, so we will use the condition status is equal to 1 in case of success. Now in success case we will save our uh, customer list in customer list variable. Now we need to call this function in our ng on init function. Next we need to define our controller in our proxy uh, file. If we don't give controllers path in our proxy file then we can't access it on front end. Basically our front end application is on uh, another port and our server side application is on another port. So proxy is used as a bridge between both the applications. Now HTML which we need to use in this application I have already written. Let's copy it and paste it in our HTML file. Let's run our application to display data on front end. Now our application is loaded and it displays the list of customers. Also we have added delete and add buttons here on which we will work later. Now before moving forward let's see what I have done in our HTML file. In HTML we have a customer list for loop and uh, also we have add button, edit button and delete button. In our loop I am uh, displaying three attributes first name, last name and is active. So this is it for customer list part now we will see uh, add added delete functionality in later parts. If you have any confusion you can ask in comments. 
After listing, now let's implement the functionality of delete customer. For this, first of all, I'm going to write delete function on click in our HTML file. And in delete function, we need to pass ID because on base of ID, it will delete our customer. Now let's implement this delete function in our TS file. Now before deletion, we want confirmation from our user that he actually want to delete the uh, data or not. Because sometimes may someone press delete button accidentally. So to remove this hurdle, we uh, implement this confirmation box for deletion. Either user want to delete uh, this customer or not. For this confirmation, we will use an external library. Let's see it. I'm going to share this library link in our description and now I'm going to install this uh, library in speed mode. After installation, we need to include this, uh, these two commands in our uh, app.module folder and its CSS file must need to be included in an angular.json file. Now for the access of this uh, uh, service, we need to include it in our constructor so that we can use it in our component later. Now let's call warning function here for the success or failure uh, condition. Now in success case we need to implement our delete customer functionality by using HTTP client exactly like we have done already in our get listing uh, function. After subscription we need to call load function here so that our page reload right after the deletion of any um, customer. Now let's run this application and test the delete functionality. Now if we click on the delete button, it's asking for confirmation. Now in case of yes only, we can delete the customer and page will be reload and show the updated list of customers. So this was the delete functionality we have implemented. If you have any confusion, you can ask in comments.